This is News Trail, your daily dose. Thanks for connecting. Here's News Trail for today, Wednesday, 9th February 2022. I am Adetola Kayode. Nigeria's future largely depends on active participation and development of science and technology by all. That's according to President Muhammadu Buhari while conferring the 2020-2021 Nigerian National Order of Merit Awards on three Nigerian scholars. The scholars had distinguished themselves in the field of medicine and science. Dr. Oluyin Kaulurotimi Olutoye distinguished himself in medicine, whilst late Professor Charles A.G.K. Chidume and Professor Godwin Samuel Ekagure made theirs in science. Mr. President tasked them to serve as beacons of hope and aspiration for the younger generation, noting that the Nigerian National Merit Award was established 43 years ago and the addition of the three recipients will bring the total number of recipients to only 79, making it one of the most prestigious awards in the country. The federal government says it has identified and subsequently dealt with what may have caused panic buying of petrol in some parts of Lagos and Abuja. Responding to resurgence of fuel queues in Lagos and Abuja, the chief executive officer of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Agency, Farouk Ahmed, says methanol quantity above Nigeria's specification was discovered in a supply chain which has since been isolated. Ahmed said while the quality control agencies of government have swung into action, NNPC Limited and oil marketers have been directed to ensure robust supply of petroleum products. Hundreds of thousands of ecstatic and chanting fans welcomed the Senegalese football team in the capital, Dakar, a day after winning the Africa Cup of Nations Afghan. Huge crowds descended on the military airport in the West African country's capital on Monday, blowing vuvuzelas and waving flags in celebration. President Maxo was waiting at the airport to greet the returning players, who then paraded through thronged streets atop a bus on their way to the presidential palace, led by Liverpool star Sadio Mane. Led by Liverpool star Sadio, Senegal overcame Egypt 4-2 in a penalty shootout in Sunday's final in Cameroon's capital, Yaoundé. The victory marked Senegal's first success in the tournament and sparked jubilant celebrations across the capital city of 3 million people. The government had declared Monday a public holiday in order to celebrate the occasion. And that's it on your stream for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetola Kayuni. And always remember, show love just because. Have a fantastic one.